Atlantics is the first film by Franco-Senegalese director Matty Diop, and it centers around economic hardships in Senegal. The main character, Ada, is said to be married to Omar, a young man from a very wealthy family, but she is in love with a poor construction worker named Suleiman, who decides to leave her behind in order to go to Europe and try and, of course, uh, maybe make some money. And from this sort of premise, you would probably be entitled to believe that the film will follow uh, the young man's journey as he uh, tries to get into Europe, but actually the film stays behind with Ada in Senegal and even manages to shift across different genres, moving into more of a mystery and even throwing in some local folkloric fantastical elements. However, despite the approach, I feel that it fails to make something all that compelling. It has a very tough time building to something that's emotionally resonant, although I do applaud the effort of creating a film about Africa and immigration that is outside of the general cliches and the misery porn uh, that we tend to get with a lot of these festival films, and that certainly makes it worth a watch. Whistlers is a Romanian film directed by Corneliu Perumbiu. It is a heist film that's told out of sequence and intercut with title sequences that are named after uh, the different characters. So in that sense, obviously, I think one of the obvious parallels is with uh, Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs, but because of the setting, uh, part of the film is set uh, on an island in Tenerife, so because of the sun and the Spanish language, because of the villa by the pool overlooking the sea, it did also have, uh, at least uh, I felt, some vibes from Jonathan Glazer's Sexy Beast. The Whistlers is very much a film about language. The premise of the film is that Christy, the main character, has to go to this remote island in Tenerife to learn a new language, a whistling language that is understood only by the locals so that he can communicate with the other people of the heist in order to break somebody out of jail. It's also a film in which a multitude of different languages are spoken, flowing very easily from one to the other, going from Romanian to Spanish to English and back, and in that sense, it's a very, very European film. And obviously because of the way the film is told and the way it's cut, you could make a case for the fact that it's a film about the language of cinema. Now, as I mentioned, I think Reservoir Dogs and Sexy Beast are some parallels with which you can view this movie. However, I feel it really doesn't have the fun or the verve that Reservoir Dogs has, nor the strangeness or the absolute directorial prowess that you get with Jonathan Glazer's first outing. And in that sense, it's a very worthy film, and it was a very fun and entertaining time at the cinema, but I don't think it has that much more to offer other than being a simple, straightforward, fun, a little bit strange Romanian heist film. So as always, thanks very much for watching the video. Please be sure to hit the like button if you like the review. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, see ya.